Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today our topic is very simple and very short video actually. I'm not going to keep you for long. It's just for coffee entertainment. Uh, maybe it's night time for you drinking your tea. Uh, why we cannot win debate with Muslims? It's impossible. It's really extremely impossible. There is a reason. And the reason we cannot hide it no more. Number one reason, they are super intelligent. Allah guide them. He gave them answers. Not only he gave them answers, he gave them BMW. Hi, Christian Prince. I will give you a, the BMW car as a reward if you can answer every question as follow. First, so me the first in the Bible that tells Jesus is a Christian. <laughs> you won't find any. What? Yeah. What does this guy just said? How we can debate those people? I mean, it's impossible, we have to admit. Is grand prize BMW for Christian Prince. Hi, Christian Prince. I will give you a, the BMW car as a reward if you can answer every question as follow. First, show me the first in the Bible that tells Jesus is a Christian. <laughs> you won't find any. Sure. <laughs> it's because the name of Christian okay. emerged for the first time in Antioch <laughs> long after Jesus died. <laughs> and those who gave a name of Christian were <laughs> Barnabas and Paul. Okay. <laughs> Not Jesus. Not Jesus. <laughs> find me where we can find that Jesus is a Christian. <laughs> Not win debate with those people. It's impossible. It's <laughs> oh boy, your idiot Christ. He is a Christian. He we are called a Christian because we follow him. How he is a Christian? <laughs> you can't win debate with Muslims. We have to admit. I think Faris is busy. Oh, this Hey, Ferris. Oh, how long time no see, Christian Prince? How are, you? how are you, Ferris? Doing great, that's a lot. You really was having conversation with those guys. You just interrupt. Appreciate it. Oh, okay, okay. So, you know, Ferris, I see you are texting me, etc. And as long as you said uh, that uh, you speak very good Arabic, why Jesus, you know, uh, he is, why his name is Isa? Where is the name Isa came from? Okay, well, did you finish? Yeah. You, I, I, now, my Christian brothers, you see, all of you, have you observed? You see, the way you do it, now I will have to say, if you want to close it, it's up to you. I have no problem, really. You see, at the beginning, like you have seen my message, didn't you? If you want to close it, it's up to you, because I was really co having conversation with other guys, Christians, they were. Focus with you me, said Faris, fo focus, focus with me, focus with me, Faris. Stop. stop. No, there's no need. Breathe, see, if you breathe, 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 breathe. If you breathe. don't, I have no problem. Okay. You're just calling and asking questions. All right. You never answer any questions. What, is, is, the, what right. is the question? What is the question you have? You see, I did, I dared you on one of the, this one. Mm -hmm. Just make one specific subject. Also, multi subject. I just, and make a debate. I, I, okay, I have a subject right now. We are <laughs> talking. Do huh? you dare to divert the fluff, kid Faris? I have no problem, really. You, you call yourself the kid Faris, correct? I'm the kid, the fluffy kid Faris. Okay. You dare that? So you are a fluffy and you are a kid. Okay, well, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, I'm a okay, I accept. I, a I accept the challenge, the fluffy kid. Hold, give away. What? What the Isa mean? What the Isa? What the Isa mean? No, 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 no. You leave no, no. the Isa Ali Salam, and I don't know what are you. You, you make a subject. You make a I just made a subject. I just made a subject. What Isa mean? What Isa mean? 
You speak Arabic you very well. You speak people. Arabic very well. You, you claim that you are an Arab like yeah. me, but you are not. So I'm asking you, what Aisa mean? What Aisa mean, my friend? We do not need to scream, etc. You are here. I mean, simple question. What Aisa mean? Yeah, this is my only voice, really. What, is, what Aisa, Aisa mean? What, why? Okay. What Al Masih mean? Masih means Masaha. Masaha. So Masih means Masaha. What does that mean? Translate, please. Masaha. 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 Okay. What Masaha? Translate, please. Masaha. What Maha mean? What Maha mean? He erased, right? He erased. If you don't understand Arabic, okay. so hold on, hold on, hold on, then. guys. He just said the Messiah, the Messiah. It means the one who erased. Erase what? Erase your sin? You see, let me tell you something. What? As soon as you finish, this is my role. You're calling me. Means it's my role. Hmm. So are, you, ahead, are you going to tell me or you are going to scream? You said, you see, I ask you about Isa, you do not what? answer because you do not know. I ask you about the Messiah, right away you jump to the answer because this is a very simple word. So now you are saying that the word Masa he erased. He erased what? Once you finish, let me know because you are the I am, guy who's I have finished. Me. I'm waiting for you to answer. You said the Messiah means the one who erased. What erase mean? What er he will erase what? Yeah, yeah. You see, I, I was, uh, as I said it, and I will say it again. Mm. If you want to close this, it's up to you because you really you cut my conversation. Mm. I will say what I want, and I will answer it. If you mm. don't want to accept, it's up to you. Say okay. What do you is want? That, is that for you? Sure. Go ahead. What do you want? I'm waiting for you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. I will say what I want, then I will do my answer. If you don't like it, it's up so to you. So what do you mean? Really. You will say what do you want? You want to sing for me? What do you want to do? I'm asking. Yeah, no, you said the Messiah. You said the Messiah is the one who erased. Okay, everybody heard you. You said Yamhi, Maha. Okay, he erased. He erased what? What the Messiah he erased? Yeah, I will be honest with you. You see, I'm a very fluffy kid, and hmm. I'm honest. Masaha hmm. Mada. This is really. I'll be honest with. I don't know. Hmm. I'm honest on okay, that. Okay, be my witness, guy. <laughs> So all this headache to say at the end, finally, he did not know. To be honest, I don't know. <laughs> oh, really? oh, what else? You cannot debate those people. Yeah, Ten minutes we are talking, he said nothing. I said, what is that? Yeah. I asked him what Isa mean. They didn't know. The second I say what Messiah mean, he jumped to the answer, right? Because this is a simple question. And he said he is the one who erased. Okay, he erased what? It took me a lot of time to make him finally say he don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. He erased he erase what? What the Messiah he erased? Yeah, I will be honest with you. You see, I'm a very fluffy kid and mm. I'm honest. Masa mm. Hamada, this is really, I will be honest with I don't know. Mm. I'm honest on okay, that. Okay, be my witness, guys. He knew what the name means, but you do not know he do what. So it, his name is he erased, but he erased what we wouldn't know. I mean, isn't it funny? Isn't it funny? You are, a, you are a man of 40, 50 years old, but you do not know what, what the Messiah erased. You just told me the Messiah means he erased. Okay, he erased what? You don't know your Bible, really. Uh, You're really? just making calls. Okay. You uh, wanna... uh, no, you, you see, you see, you can say whatever you want. You just yeah. prove to me that you know nothing. You do not know. You do not know what Isa means. You do not. You said the mess, the Messiah is the one who erase. I ask you, who erase what? He erase what? You do not know. You, you said, yet you... to be honest. I, okay, okay. Forget about the Messiah name and the Isa. Why Jesus have no father? No problem. You, whatever why, you, I why Jesus uh, Faris? Why Sheikh, Sheikh Faris? Here we go. I, I, I give you a rank. I gave you a rank. Imam Faris. Why Jesus have no father? As, as I said it, you see, as I said it, it's up to you Christians, really. Hmm. I, I'm, I, I have no problem to speak with anyone. Okay. This guy uh, are just you, are you going question, to answer? Question, 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 question. Well, we, this but is no the conversation. Answer. We're no. trying to learn about Isa in Islam. Okay, you say call him Isa. We do not know what the name. You call him Messiah. You said he is the one who erased, which means he erased sin. And if he is, if he is the one who erased sin, that means he is God. Thank you very much. Now let us let us go to the the, the third stage. Jesus, the son of Mary. Who is his father? Who is the father of Jesus, the son of Mary? I should cut it. You see, the, uh, Isa, I will be, you see, you, very funny, really, very funny. <laughs> I, I would say this one, and if you want to close it, close it, but I will answer that question about who is the father of Isa, alayhi salam. Hmm. My Christian brothers just here, this guy just make himself in a big trouble. He claims he knows the Arabic. Hmm. It is, you see, if you, if the guy don't know the classical Arabic. Ya Faris al Saluk. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I thought you maybe close it. That's why this guy is claiming to know the classical Arabic, 
You see, he, but unfortunately, okay. when I challenge him, you see, on the, before maybe one month, I said to him, let you and me speak for five minutes. Okay. Discussion on the and floor. I did, you did not. I, I did, it's recorded. Yeah, I, I did. Okay, again. Okay, speak to me in <laughs> classical. Speak to me in classical Arabic. I, I will start. I will start speaking to you in classical Arabic. Before you start, I know what you are going to do. I know what you are going to do. Just read from one book. What? Are you, are you afraid? Are you, you, you just said you want to uh, speak to me in Arabic, in classical Arabic. Let us make a challenge right now. It's recorded. People will laugh at you. You do not know how to speak classical Arabic. I will start. You want me to start or you start? But this is really funny, really. It's so funny, really. You see, I would say, then don't cut. Yeah, really. You laugh at, I'm laughing at you, really. You so, Faris, uh, you keep changing the topic. What do you want now? Okay. Do you want to answer or you want to talk about Arabic? Choose one. No, no problem. You see, you okay. are the guy. So, let us go back. If it, as long as you don't want to talk about Arabic, you're telling me in Arabic, we, we do it. No problem. You don't want to. So, now, Jesus is the son of Mary. Who is his father? Yeah, Jesus, I, uh, uh, like I said, this, I will make one point, I will answer it, but you keep interrupting because you know you're embarrassed. <coughs> oh, God, really, what you made me? Really need to drink water later on, no problem. Camel urine, my As friend. Said, why, why, why water? You're a Muslim. Didn't the Prophet order you to drink camel, camel urine? You want a, you, if you want salt, like he said, I'm not, I I'm not insulting. I'm not insulting. I will show you the hadith right now. Is it true that the Prophet yeah. ordered to drink camel urine, yes or no? Is that a sunnah? I will answer it. Hmm. I will answer it. Okay, so, so why you are saying you are insulting? I did not insult. I just said to you what your prophet or the Muslims to do. So why don't you give me the time? Okay. This, even so now, okay, let us go back to zero. Okay, My Jesus, Lord. the son of Mary, who is the father of Jesus? I will answer that as soon as you just please be quiet for three minutes. Can All you right. do that? Here we go. Quiet. I, will, I, will go I will take a nap. Uh -huh. I will you take will a nap. For three sure, I will take a nap. Go ahead. Who is Jesus, the son of Mary? Who is his father? <laughs> And I would say, I would, because the answer of the Isa Ali is just one minute. In, <coughs> oh, oh, God, really. It's just for <laughs> 10 seconds, please. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, keep laughing relax, laughing. relax, Faris. Relax, relax, relax. I'm already relaxed. Come Your on, wives man. will not hear this video. Your wives will not know about you it. Know, what happened would, in Vegas is staying in Vegas. Okay, now tell me, my friend. So now, yeah, what, yeah. Jesus, the son yeah. of Mary, who is his father? Yeah, you already repeated this question a hundred times. I said, I will answer it. Just mm. please be quiet for three minutes. Go ahead. Simple stuff. Appreciate it. Because the answer is just 10 seconds, my my brothers and lovely uh, Christians. You see, the guy, you see, up to you. You want to close it? If you interrupt, there is, I will restart my my time. Three minutes. The answer is just 10 seconds. The guy, you see, he said about the classical Arabic, he is afraid right now. Because he knows it's going to be busted. It's just really, really, very funny. Okay, let us talk Arabic, Dan. Let us talk Arabic. Yes, what's wrong with you? You want to change me in Arabic? You go, start. Go ahead, start. Go ahead. Stop Stop repeating yourself. You're, you're, you're really a kid. Start it. Go ahead. Here we go. I accept the I challenge in Arabic. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Now, now, now. Do, do it now. We did it before. I spank you, and we will do it again. I challenge you right now. I accept the challenge to speak in Arabic. Go ahead. For now, wasting the time. I know your wife. Why, why the you keep talking about the Arabic then if you don't want to do it? Are you, are you, are you, uh, what's wrong with you? Are you crazy or what? You keep saying you want to challenge me in Arabic and I'm not accepting. I said, no, I accept. Here we go. We'll do it now. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead now. Go ahead now. I, I know. See, the Christians, hmm. if you don't, really, if you did it, I will restart it and I will close it. Faris al Faris on your soul, Luke. Yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, إلى السماء إلى الأرض أخذوك وجعلوا من نبيك واحد مردوك. Allah, God, I swear to God, Christian. What? But no problem. Go ahead. Go ahead. Swear to God, what? Go ahead. You see, no, you want to complete? You see the Christians? Hmm. He's a guy. He's, I said three minutes, be quiet. Three minutes. So we're going to because... start uh, the Arabic uh, conversation. So how would you mean to uh, uh, quiet? I, said, I, will, I will answer your question. So okay. So you don't want to talk about Arabic? No problem. Now answer me. Jesus, the son of Mary, who is his father? Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, there's a, you see, there's ex-Muslims who's lying. Hmm. I have no problem. You want to close it? You close it. You see, I know I win on this one. <laughs> you are already lost. But I said three minutes. Be quiet. If you cannot, up to you. anyone understand anything? Anyone really understand anything? What those people are about? I mean, you cannot find a single person who is educated. He has some intelligence to speak to him because this religion is a stupid religion. The second you try to defend it, you go crazy.
Quran. Allah he told us a secret in the Quran. That's truly, truly deep. So Allah he made him. Yeah. Okay, what, what? Allah made him what? Please don't say that. Come on. I don't believe you. You must be kidding me. Allah, he made him know it. Know what? Know what he said to them? He is the one who said that to them. He made known part of it and avoided part. What? What does that mean? Oh, you miss you missed the start. You know, let us go back a little bit so you can get the story from the beginning, brother. <laughs> the prophet and Allah informed him. Wives and then the other wife, one of his wives, the one of oh. God, this is God talking. When the prophet told one of his wives, the wife she told the other wives, and then the other wife they told the other other wives of the every wife of the count of the county and the whole town knows about it. And then the news arrived back to the prophet and Allah informed him. Look, 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 Allah informed him. I mean, obviously the secret is all over. What do you mean Allah informed him? And Allah made him know it. Wow. I mean, Muhammad, he have a CIA. It's called Allah. The wives are talking about it everywhere. And look, Allah informed him. Oof, that's deep. That's truly, truly deep. So Allah, he made him. Yeah. Okay, what, what? Allah made him what? Please don't say that. Come on. Please, I please, don't you. please don't say Come that. On. And for the kid who is saying, you Muslim destroyed me, why you don't call me then? Here we go. This is why they are afraid, because they will be recorded and everybody will be laughing at them and we will play their video forever. <laughs> do, you need, do you see how much they destroy me to the point they don't dare to call me? And this is what happened to anyone who called me. Anyone. Don't forget to go and watch Mimi Hijab debating Christian friends. He hang up on me eight times in less than three minutes. <laughs> and he did not dare to debate me. Cowards, intimidated. Okay, uh, Allah, he is telling us a secret. When the prophet, he told his wife a secret, and then the wife, she told the other wife, and the wife told the other wife, and the other wife told the other wife, and then the wife told the neighbor, and the neighbor told the neighbor, and the neighbor of the neighbor told the neighbor. And then, and then Allah informed the prophet. The whole town, they knew about the news, and Allah informed the prophet. <laughs> Look like he don't live in town. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, what happened to this page? You must be kidding me. Allah, he made him know it. Know what? Know what he said to them? <clears throat> he is the one who said that to them. He made known part of it and avoided part. What? What does that mean? This is God talking? Guys, look at this deep wisdom. Allah, brother. Let us call Zakir Naik. Assalamu alaikum. Christian Prince, Christian Prince, please, for the God, for the sake of Allah, leave me alone. I told you one million times, don't call me after middle of the night. First of all, I might be having sexual intercourse with my wife now. Secondly, this is sexual harassment. <laughs> Number three, I have no answer for you. Hey brother, but we have a question here about this verse in chapter 66, verse number three. <laughs> I mean, what Allah, what the Prophet, he told his wife a secret, and then the secret is spread around, and the secret became very well known, and then Allah told him about it. <laughs> and then Allah, he made him know part of the a part of it and avoid the part. What is that part? Okay, I will tell you. First of all, don't ever listen to Christian Prince. He always, first of all, show me your faith. Show me your faith, I will give you the answer. Uh, uh, Dr. Zakir Naik, the people want to know. It's not forget about Christian Prince. I cannot forget about seeing your faith. I am sure you had in your faith because of a very, 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 very reason. Very, very good reason. Okay, Zakir Naik, maybe I don't look good, man, like you, you know. 
You look good. I don't look good. Why I want to show my face? I know it. I know it. I am sexy and I know it. Thank you very much. And then here, Zach and Nick, he will start sing, uh, singing the song. We can't play the music so that we will not get a copyright violation. He will sing the song. Uh, <clears throat> He's sexy and he know it. <laughs> and he starts tripping. <laughs> I don't know who made this video, but you can find it. I will. I will show you the link. I mean, this is what Islam is about. This is the. This is the madness of the religion. Show him your face. You know, I'm willing to fly to the end of the world to debate you. I challenge you. I challenge you face to face. Show me your face. Show me your face. Maxine, you know it. You know, that's what they have. They make videos attacking. All of them, they can refute the Christian prince, but in his back. But none of them dare to call me, especially those who claim to have knowledge. Potatoes. They edit my videos, they lie, they fabricate, but they don't dare to call. And now Zach and Nick is sing singing, he's sexy and you know it. Da -da 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 -da. He's sexy and you know it. Da -da 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 -da. He's sexy and you know <laughs> The one who made this video actually, he have a he have good, uh, uh, good skills. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, the, uh, Faris is here. Faris himself is here, the kid. <laughs> I mean, imagine this guy. He called himself Faris the kid. And okay, so you work with, you work with your kids. So now all of you are a bunch of kids. You is a kid. Your, your children are kids. All of you are kids. What you will do, brother? What a kid company. Let us see somebody is adult uh, better than you. You will speak, you know, smarter. Smarter than you. Look, you know, smart Muslims are genius. Allah, He guide them to give us the perfect. Uh... No, He cannot debate Muslims. He cannot. His grand prize BMW for Christian Prince. Hi, Christian Prince. I will give. Hey, what? Uh, hi, hi. What is that? Hi. Hi, Christian fans. This guy, he, is, he, he should join the Mujahideen. Hi, Christian fans. Hi. What hi? Is that how men they talk in those stars? They, hi. Hey, hi. Hi, how are you? Hi. What is that, man? Grand prize BMW for Christian friends. Hi, Christian Prince. Hi. I will give you a, the BMW car Hi. as a reward Hi. if you can answer every question as follows. Hi. First, Hi. show me the verse in the Bible that tells Jesus is a Christian. <laughs> you want to find it, Kenny. Oh, no, hold on. And you won't find. I mean, this guy is sure, you know, like it. That, <laughs> I mean, you won't find. First, show me the verse in the Bible that tells Jesus is a Christian. Mm. You won't find any. We will never find it. This is why you cannot debate those people. No intellect, no intelligence. I feel sorry for them. I mean, this guy in this age, and he's talking. And I mean, what is that? You see, this is a question. I think this guy he was copying from Facebook page. A kid he posts something. He liked a question. Show me where Jesus says he's a Christian. I mean, do you think a person in this age he will speak like this? He will say such even a question. Are you stupid? Are you really stupid? Obviously you are. Hmm? Anyway. Uh, if you are a person who know nothing about Islam, 
the Muslims will be fighting all over to debate you. I'm going to open my Skype for a few minutes to see if we can get the Muslim. The only Muslims they call us is the one who deny Islam, like they deny the Hadith, they deny what their Prophet said. They are ashamed of their Prophet, let's say. Those are the only... They, and the reason they deny all those... Uh, the, the, uh, the teaching of Muhammad, which is coming from Muhammad's mouth, because it's embarrassing. And then when we ask them to explain the Quran, they don't even speak English, but they want to explain the Quran to you as they wish. I mean, they speak Arabic. Uh, like we have here in the chat, uh, Fairuz. <clears throat> Fairuz, he looked like he liked to call me every day. And uh, Fairuz is a genius. So I will give a chance to Fairuz to call us, and I'm not going to ask you a question, Fairuz. I want you to give me anything prove Islam to be from God. Is that fair? Fairuz, are you there? Anything you want. Actually, this is open invitation to any Muslim, not necessarily Fairuz, because Fairuz, obviously, he always leave his mic open, even though when he go to drink water. And we heard a lot of stuff. Any Muslim would like to call me? <clears throat> Muhammad Rizki saying, can you give proof that the Quran is not original? Uh, my friend, first of all, there is no original Quran to make the Quran not original. What original? What original? Even you Muslims, you say that the Quran you have today is the Quran of Uthman. Well, is Uthman is the Prophet or Muhammad? And where is the Quran of Uthman? You don't have it. So what original? I love when Muslim says, you know, oh, we have Feroz. Fairuz trying to call, that's wonderful. Hold on, hold on, Fairuz. Give me a second. Fairuz talk. Are you there? What happened? Let me call you again, Fairuz. Fix your I'll give you I'll give you a minute to fix your microphone. Who is a Muslim is willing to call me? Anyone. You see here here you see that they are afraid and they are terrified. They claim that they can debate me, but my Skype is open. Can they do the same? I will call them. All those who claim to be, um, they have answers, they can answer Christian friends. Okay, give me your Skype, I will, I will call you. Anyone? Let us call Fergus again, because he is the only one is available. <coughs> Yes, Fairuz, how are you, my friend? Yeah, I'm good. So what do you want to tell us? What is the proof that Islam is from Allah? Give us anything. I'm not going to ask any question. I will make it easy for you. Give us the most powerful proof that Muhammad is a prophet and Allah is God. Go ahead. I don't hear you. I don't hear you, Fairuz. Your voice is gone. What happened? Hello, can you hear me now? Can you get closer to the microphone, please? Hello. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Now is now it's good. Okay. Keep it this way. Okay. Now, what do you say? give us anything you want to prove to the audience that Allah is God and Muhammad is a prophet? Anything you want. Go ahead. Yeah, but what is the point, man? You don't even let me speak, and you hang up the call. You know, you I don't. I know. I hang up only when people they are not uh, uh, like they are, they are just talking, saying nothing. So here we go. I'm giving you the microphone. Don't waste your time and my time. 
give us anything to prove that Muhammad is a prophet. Whatever you choose, we will discuss it. Go ahead. I mean, uh, like, like, what, what kind of proof you want? Like, I am not getting any, any proof, any proof, chemical proof, anything you want, anything you know, anything you want to think about it, you know. Yeah, there is a lot of uh, scientific miracle. Okay, wonderful. There is scientific miracle. Okay, give, give us one. Yeah, that day I uh, already explained you about uh, space expansion. And yeah, but, yeah, but the but, but the but the verse doesn't say that, my friend. Even your Muslim translation doesn't say that. Why you are lying? So why why it says Allah will expand the universe, and why the Muslim their translation none of them says that this is about expansion of universe. No, even even the translation you used yesterday. Even that translation had expanding, uh, expanding words. Okay, my friend, can you show me? Okay, hold on. Okay, can you show me the word universe? Can you show me the word universe that he is expanding the universe in the verse? No, no. You, you, the translation which you used to study it showed expanding the space. I don't understand. Hello? Where it says Allah will expand the space, my friend. Where it says that? You see, this is, I'm showing you your Muslim translation. This is, your, this is your translation. Can you show me where Allah he says? Allah will expand the space. I don't see it. So why you Muslims? How come you Muslim you claim the Quran saying something, but then we go and we check even the translation doesn't say what you say. So why? I can change the translator for you. Which translator you like? This is Yusuf Ali. I can make a different one for you. Do you want Shakir? Shakir is a cute from your country. Huh? Okay. Well, hey, this is Shakir. Where, where it says Allah will expand the space. Here we go. This is Shakir. Why Shakir did not say that? He's lying, huh? Um, Are you there? Hello. I don't hear you. Hello. Get closer to the microphone. Okay, why you why the Muslim translation don't say what you are saying? Why you Muslims are lying to us? Either you are lying or the translators are lying because I don't see there anywhere it says that Allah expand the universe. Okay, Fairuz, Fairuz, I don't hear you, man. Stop playing with the microphone. Are you using the microphone of the neighbor? Not only, not only you do guys, you use the Wi-Fi of the neighbor, you use the microphone of the neighbor. Here we go. This is why we cannot hear you. The microphone is the end of the house of the neighbor and you are speaking from your room. Listen to me. This one did not work. Give me another miracle. This one, it turned to be false. Okay. Give me, give me a real miracle, brother. Give me a real miracle. This one obviously is a hocus. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Huh? Hello, hello, you can hear me. Are you going to spend the day saying to me, hello, hello? You see, I hang up on you because you, you, you take the mic. I'm talking to you for the last 10 minutes. You said nothing. Okay, this, this miracle did not work. Give me another miracle. Can you hear me now? Hello. Okay, go, man. Oh, have mercy. And they say, Christian Prince, you need to have more patience. You are right. If this patient is not patient, what patient then? If this is not patient, so what is patient? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, hello. Next, who is a Muslim willing to call me? The mic is open. I'm not going to stay here for long, Muslims, to so take opportunity and beat the Christians, make them convert to Islam. Who is a Muslim want to show us any kind of a proof that Muhammad is a prophet and Allah is God? Open a challenge. I'm not going to ask you a question. Whatever the topic you say, whatever you give me, we will put it in the screen and we will discuss it. Is that fair, guys? Is that fair? I mean, do you see how strong we are and how weak they are? I will not ask you anything. You give me the topic which you think it's the most solid proof that Allah is God. Who can do that? <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, Gaidun is saying, Gaidun here have a question for the Muslims. I like to share it on the screen. <clears throat> Gaidun said, 
if Allah said he would cause Muhammad to forget and abrogate the Quran, uh, the a verse, and give it better ones, why did Muslims not forget not forget and uh, the abrogated verses and have them in Quran still? Eh. We will wait for the answer. Who is a Muslim when I call us and show us that the Quran or Muhammad is really a prophet or the Quran is really from God? Anyone? Hello? Do you have any proof? Do you have any proof additional that Christ is not Christian? This is the only thing you have? Is Grand Prize BMW for Christian Prince. Hi, Christian Prince. I will give you a, the BMW car as a reward if you can answer every question as follow. Mm. First, show me the verse in the Bible that tells Jesus is a Christian. We cannot. That's it. We lost. I mean, we have to admit. We cannot show him that Jesus is a Christian. The other guy, we say, we say to him, show us that your prophet is a prophet. He show us the verse. He says, according to him, Allah he expand the universe. Well, the Bible says that thousands of years before Muhammad exists, that God he extend the, like he extend the universe like a curtain. And not only that, he says that he hang the earth on nothing. And not only only that, he said that the, the sphere of the earth, which means he has given us even the shape of the earth before Santa discover the, the real shape of the earth. But we don't say the Bible is a book of science because simply it's not. The Bible is not a book of science. Now, what is the proof that Allah is God and Muhammad is a prophet? Any Muslim can help me? Any Muhammadan can help me? Hello? Okay. If we search in YouTube, we will find endless videos about Muhammadan speaking the proof of Allah. Using logic and science to establish faith and Islamic perspective, and then you listen to it, you will die laughing at the lies. I wish I can play it so we can show you how stupid what they say. Not a single word there is true. Any Muslim can call us and show us that Allah is a truly a God. A God. Many Muhammadan. If we search science in the Quran, we will find endless videos made by Muhammadan. Not a single one of them is true. When you are officially dead, Quran answer. <laughs> How Quran explain physics before science could? Eh, must be a true story. Quran and modern science. Eh, okay, lecture of Dr. Zakir Naik. Quran was ahead of science. 27 undeniable miracles in the Quran. Scientific fact in the Quran must see. Ten surprising, significant, medical, and those scientific. All of those? Okay, who, who can quote for me one? So we can die laughing. You choose any of them. Who was the Muslim when I is willing to do that? Any Muhammadan? All of those are a fraud. 
not a single one of them is true. Feroz, you gave me a proof. I wanted to hear it from you, what you gave me a proof. No, I want you to, uh, you see, Feroz, I gave you a chance to call me, to speak to me. And then what do you do? You don't, you waste your time. I will tell you and I will tell you. Okay, well, you will tell me what? Huh? Hmm. <sighs> Muhammad Qadir saying, Jesus, he said, there is no prophet is accepted between his own people. Okay, so what? This is a statement which everybody knows. And Jesus saying that only Jews, and not only Jews, I mean, this is public, uh, generally speaking, when a prophet comes, people reject them. That's very normal. But in the same time, my friend, you forgot, if you are trying to say that Jesus is a prophet, well, God is the first prophet, for all prophecy come from God. Prophets usually is a word we speak about or we give for someone he tell us what God said. So where the prophecy is coming from? From God. God himself is the first prophet. So the Messiah is a prophet, is God, is a rabbi, is a teacher, is a master, is a healer. He is all names. He is the truth. He is the resurrector. He is the alpha. He is the omega. For all good names belong to him. So you just made yourself look funny. Next, who is a Muslim have something to say to us? Any Muhammadan? Huh? Faru is trying to call again. He will waste my time. He's a kid, but eh, what we can do? Answer, Faru's answer. Hey, Faru's answer. speaker until you answer. Fairuz, answer sky buddy. Okay, forget. Who is a Muslim is willing to call us and show us any proof that Allah is God, Muhammad is a prophet? Who is willing to do so? Anyone? Open challenge. I'm not going to pick up the topic for you. I'm not going to ask you questions. I will go with the topic you gave me. I will try to learn from you the science and the knowledge of Allah. So you choose it, whatever you want. What do you think? How Allah can be God, but Allah is a stupid. Have you ever heard of a stupid God? How Allah is God, but he says stupid things. Any Muhammadan have any explanation? Because if he is God, then he should say smart things. But he's God and is stupid in the same time, that's weird. Anyone? Who is a Muslim here is willing to give me something smart, Allah, he said. I mean, we have a book, have hundreds of pages. Don't tell me he did not say one thing smart. Did he say anything smart? Fairuz is trying to call again. Okay, let us take Faroos. Try again. Faroos, answer this time. <clears throat> okay, Faroos. What do you want to say to us, Faroos? Go ahead. Ah, here we go. <coughs> this guy, his mic doesn't work. His internet doesn't work. Are you there, Faroos?
פירוז. פירוז. אוקיי, פירוז. Let us see, is this guy is a Muslim? Let us see. Hello? Hello? Turn off your camera, please. If you don't mind. I don't know how to put it off. Okay. Yeah. Uh, are you a Muslim? Good evening, brother. How are you? I'm, a, I'm a fine. Are you a Muslim, my friend? No, I'm a Christian, actually. I've been trying to contact you for many days. Okay. But we are saying Muslims should call uh, us. We want Muslims to call us. Yeah, because I love to hear. I've been listening to your uh, messages, so I'm so encouraged with that. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, my friend. Uh, I'm, so I'm, I'm happy that you are uh, liking it. But if you don't mind, you know, a, a, a Christians can call yeah. me when I am in the other account, which is called the Quality of Life. And there we take a, a oh, call, yeah. calls from Christians. Here only we make, we, uh, we open the, the microphone for Muslims. All right? Call me the, when okay. I'm there, my friend. Okay, okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we have a Muslim here saying, well, why you don't read for us Luke 14? You see, uh, you know, you are being silly. First, in Luke 14, Jesus is not teaching you to hate your family and hurting them. Jesus is saying, if you love your family more than me, if you are neglecting the word, you want me, which means if you are not attached to anything except me, then you belong to me as a disciple. And... When a Muslim, he says, it says here, if you don't hate, this is a translation of the word rejection to what the earth is about. It's not about the Bible, actually. If you even insult your parents, the punishment is death. Insulting parents in the Old Testament, the punishment is literally death. So you don't hate your family. Jesus says, love your enemy, how you can hate your family. But in the Quran, Allah, he says, you will not find one person who is a Muslim will be kind and nice and loving to his family who they are not Muslims. While Jesus says, if your enemy asks you for your coat, you give him your dress. If your enemy curse you, you pray for him. So my friend, you are not being decent with the question. The Bible is not a sentence. The Bible is a book. So if you, I can say now the Quran said, don't get close to the to the prayer and i cut the sentence that's it i stopped there but the fact the verse continue there's a second part of the verse it says don't get close to the prayer when you are drunk why because muhammad and his followers they are a bunch of drunk people they go to the bar they keep it drinking until they are so drunk and they cannot wake up muhammad rizki okay my friend muhammad rizki why you don't text me Muhammad Rizki, please text me. The only one is texting me is uh, Fairuz, who have he is using the microphone of the neighbor and the internet of the neighbor. So Muhammad Rizki, why you don't call me, Mr. Rizki? So you want to debate me what in the chat? Why you don't call me, my friend? No problem. He can debate me about Luke 14. No problem. Here we go. I just answer him. I mean, what debate me about it? I just told you. You see, just this to show you the hypocrisy of those people. Where Jesus teaching appear on the Christians that the Christians who heard this verse, they go and they hate their parents. Can you see somebody? 
So obviously you are a false like your prophet. You, you, you try to give your own interpretation in order to debate a Christians or a Muslim about something. Let us read the interpretation of their religion, what they accept, what they believe. So if I want to show you now the verse which is speaking about Muhammad saying you will not find a Muslim who is good to his parents or his family or his brothers or his tribe from those who oppose Allah. I'm not going to make interpretation as I wish. I can go right now to the interpretation you choose and we will die laughing. In the same time, do you accept to do the same? We go and read the interpretation of all the Christians about this verse and then people will laugh at you. So here we see that Muslims, they have deficiency in not only intellect, they have deficiency in decency. And this is actually one of the reasons you cannot debate Muslims because there is no decency in the debate. Debate, it should happen between two people who have the same kind of decency. When we speak about religious, you assume that those people, they believe in God, they will not lie. But the fact, all of us, we knew that the Quran allowed them even to lie to each other. Muhammad, he says, you can lie in three, to, to, in, in three cases. To who? Starting from your own family. I mean, this is the deception of devil to make you believe that lying to your wife and wife lying to her husband is okay. If the family establish on lies what Islam is about. Hmm? How this is can be a teaching from God? You can lie in three cases lying to your wife lying to your friends to suppose to fix problems and lying to your enemy and for them we are enemies so they are allowed to lie to us as much as they wish uh, if you remember when uh, uh, when david wood was debating with mimi hijab if we can call it a debate uh, mimi hijab uh, you know uh, he he said when david would say to him uh, allah have a hand allah have a foot uh, Mimi Hijab, he said, who says so? <laughs> who says so? Your prophet says so. The Quran says so. So in order to avoid answering something very embarrassing, they make a mockery, lying about what they believe, denying a major part of their belief, saying we don't have such a thing. We don't have it. Where where you get this from? Who said so? Go on the internet, just type Allah has hands. Allah have a foot. Allah have a shin. Allah have a face. And you will see the Muslims all over they are. Uh, saying that. Zakir Naik, he says that. So why they lie to us and they say, we never heard of this before. What is that? Allah has hands? Yes, Allah has hands. As an example, well, this, this, this video in front of you, I'm not going to play it, but you can open it yourself. This is a very well-known uh, uh, sheikh and he is uh, in the TV 24 hours, seven days a week. Does Allah have hands? Watch the video and die laughing. But we ask them, do Allah have hands? They say, well, who says so? We don't believe in that. Do Allah have a foot? Allah has a foot. Do he have a foot? Yes, brother. Allah has a foot. But the Muslims in their debate, they deny that. So why in their schools, they teach their kids that Allah have a body part, but when we speak to them, they deny all of those things, just in order to avoid answering something embarrassing. As simple as that. No decency. It's impossible to find decency. Otherwise, you tell me, why in debate they deny what they teach in their schools and in their books?
Do we have any Muslim Ustad wanna call us? Don't make me wait for long. There is a brother he wanna go live on air, and uh, you know he is just waiting for me. Any Muhammadan? Islam is very fast famous. Uh, okay, 20, 20, hold on. You see, you just proved to me that Muhammad is a false prophet. Because your prophet said that Islam would disappear. You see guys how they help us? Your prophet says Islam will disappear and time will come and Muslims will, lo will leave Islam. Not only by like, nobody will be a Muslim. And not even one scholar will be exist, which means all of them they are not true Muslims. So you are saying that Muhammad is a fraud again. Thank you very much. Whatever you say, you are beating your prophet. Isn't it your prophet who said Bada al Islam Gariban wa Safa Yaud Gariban? Is that a false prophecy? According to you, yes, Muhammad is a fraud. Huh. Let us find the hadith. Is that your prophet who says this or somebody else? Hmm? Any Muslim don't agree with Muhammad. Not only that, actually, even Muhammad he said that Muslims nobody will visit the Kaaba no more. Not only that, the Kaaba it might turn to a casino. What do you say? <clears throat> Anyone? Actually, one of the hadith of Muhammad that time will come and only dogs will go there. <laughs> Any Muslim? One of the hadith says, that when the judgment day almost coming, nobody will go to Hajj. Zero. Do you see it? Do you see it? According to your prophet, from the signs of the judge, the sign, the signs of the judgment hour, that people will not establish Hajj. The Hajj will not be exist no more. Mecca, nobody go there. Do you see it? Actually, you know what? I'm going to stop here and I will make the coming video about this. And I will try to make it short so you guys can just copy and download, you know, a short video. Uh, because Muslims always they speak about Islam or spread Islam. That means Muhammad is a fraud. That's obviously this is mean Muhammad is a fraud. Because look, this is Sahih Bukhari. This is not. They cannot say this is Daif. This is 
This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Nobody will go to Hajj. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Muslim uh, Abbas, he said, don't forget that Muhammad will be the first to enter paradise. You see, uh, Abbas, you remind me. I did not forget that. And thank you for reminding me. Because you're a prophet, he says, I was the, I'm was. i going to be the first to be resurrected. And when I open my eyes, I see Musa <laughs> standing before me. I mean, look at the idiot. He just said he will be the first to be resurrected. And Musa is alive before him. Secondly, you are proud about Muhammad to be the first to enter paradise. If Isa now is already in the paradise. Stupidity. Secondly, I can show you your prophet. He's saying clearly that he is not sure to go to paradise. Stupidity is amazing. Anyway, Muhammad telling the Muslims he will be the first to enter paradise. Hmm. Muhammad witnessing that he was, okay, I can say the same. I will be the first to enter paradise. And I will take, uh, Muhammad will, I will not even let Muhammad get in. I will change the door, the door lock. Then silly people. Very silly. I mean, look at the logic. Why Muslims will reject Islam according to Muhammad? Good, good question. I will make actually a video. Uh, let us see, maybe tonight, maybe tonight or maybe tomorrow morning. We will call it why Muslims will reject prophecy of a prophet Muhammad. Muslims leave Islam. No Muslim left. I challenge you to show me where it says Jesus in paradise. Uh, you, are, you are officially stupid, uh, Abbas. I mean, Abbas is officially stupid. Abbas is officially stupid. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah, he took him up to heaven? Hmm? Chapter 3, verse number 55. Is that your Quran or my Quran? Where is Jesus now, Abbas? Hello? I mean, those people, they, they have a mouth, but they don't know what they are saying. They don't know what they are, how they are using this mouth. So heaven is equal to paradise. Okay, guys, so heaven is equal to paradise. So heaven is equal to paradise. Uh, Abbas, what is the word paradise in Arabic? So we can laugh together. What is the word paradise in Arabic? And don't forget to take off your pant. You know, Abbas, why you don't call me? Because this will be hilarious. Abbas, can you call me? Guys, Abbas is going to correct Christian. This is a golden opportunity. Uh, you're scared to call me. This guy is calling me all kinds of names you can imagine. Call me, he calling me a poo poo, he's calling me all kinds of words. This guy is so angry. What happened to him? Okay, I will call you. Hold on. <clears throat> answer, answer. He calling me dog, he's calling me poo poo. I want to see what's happening to him. I might have heart attack. I mean, look at this guy. He challenged me to call him, and now he is not answering. Okay, potato. <clears throat> we give you a chance. We will block you. 
Fairuz is giving us answer about Hajj will be closed in Judgment Day. Send me the reference. It's in the front of you on the screen. We wait on the screen. Abbas, are you there? Abbas, can you call me and tell us about the paradise? Abbas. Abbas, I want you to laugh at me. Call me live so people will laugh at me, please. Abbas. Okay, I will call you Abbas. You are not calling me, I will call you. I cannot resist the temptation to be get to get busted by Abbas. Abbas, are you online? I'm calling you. Abbas. Are you trying to avoid the embarrassment, Abbas? So paradise is not heaven? Abbas is offline. He will not go online, Abbas. Abbas, don't worry. What happened in Las Vegas will stay in Las Vegas, Abbas. Come on, Abbas, call me. I want you to correct me and show me that I have no knowledge. Actually, one of the stupid things in the Quran is the following, as long as Abbas, he mentioned this. Where the Muslims will be in what they call heaven? If you go and read the Quran, you will find that this book, all those verses speaking about this. But there is some specific verses. It's so funny to the point will make you die from, from heart attack laughing. Chapter 13, verse number 23, it says that Allah, he promised you to enter the Jannah or Jannat of Adam. The translation here is weird, you know. Where is Adan disappear? Where is the word Adan? Let us change the translator. This guy he ate the word Adan. Eden, you know. Hmm. How come here we have Eden? Okay, Muslims. Allah will take you to different earth or this is will be in Eden. This is your heaven? Is it in the sky or it's in Yemen? Where is, the, where is Eden, the one Allah is talking about? Any Muhammadan? Where is Eden, heaven, which Allah, he assigned to you? Any Muslim? It, Muhammad Rizki, I don't know what is your account. I have no idea. I get, I did not get anything. I, the only one who tried to contact me, I called him back. He did not, you know. Uh, oh, here we go. Rizki. I see you, Rizki. Okay, Rizki. Let me call you, my friend. <laughs> Hello? Uh, hello? Yeah. Yes, Mr. Rizki, how are you? Uh, yes, I'm Rizki. Uh, okay. you, you said before that in Surah 58, uh, 22, it's this Islam teaching hey. 58, 22, okay. 58 what? 58, 22, yeah. Okay, what about it? Go ahead. Uh, can you explain me because I uh, read same with Luke fourteen twenty six. Hmm. And uh, can you explain me? Because I'm I'm lear I'm lear I'm learning 
I'm learning now. I'm, I learned from, from you now. Okay. So what, I, I don't understand what the question. What do you want? Uh, because uh, both religion teach same thing. No, Wait. no, no. You know, you all what Jesus is saying. You have to hate everything in this earth. Hate here is not about really like you hurt people and you will be evil for them. Hate is about that you will not attach yourself to anything except the Lord. Those are disciples who they are following the Messiah. So if you want to be my disciple, don't even carry food with you. You know, just follow me, walk with me, and that's all what you need. All right. So he's saying to them, either you want to stay with your family, you love them more than you love me, or you hate everything, which means you reject everything, you are not attached to anything, and you follow me. So choose one. Otherwise, Jesus says, love your enemy. Like, here we go. You as a Muslim, you've been taught to kill the Christians. Me as a Christian, Jesus ordered me, he says, bless them, pray for them. So if you, in order to understand what Jesus said, we have to connect all the teaching of Jesus together. We don't take a sentence and we say, Jesus said that. As an example, if I go right now in the Quran, and I show you that the Quran says, don't get too close to pray when you are drunk. Does that mean the Quran allowing you now to drink, my friend? No. Okay, but I can use it the same way you are, you are trying. I can say, Wait, well, the Quran in chapter 4, verse number 43, it says, don't get too close to a prayer when you are drunk, which means already Allah approving you being drunk. All what he is saying to you, no problem to be drunk. But don't drunk, be drunk and pray. That's all. So I can use this verse, and this is what the Muslim they do. They forget that the other verse in the Quran says, you cannot drink no more. So now I can say, no, the Quran says you can drink. So if you want to be honest and decent in any question or understanding something, you need to read the book and then you put the dots together. Jesus never taught hate and and, and uh, the, the Bible even forbid us from insulting our parents. And the penalty is death. While Muhammad, he called his parents Najis. Muhammad, he called his mother and his father Najis, which means filthy. In the Old Testament, if you do that, your parents, the, punish, the penalty is death. Literally death. It's not jail. It is death. I'm not getting your point. In Indonesia, in Indonesian uh, translation here, with I, Indonesian translation, it says that you will not find the believer and the unbeliever uh, love each other. No. And in no. in the no. Bible. No, 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 no. First of all, it says here you will not find a believer who is good to his family, his father, his brother, including your mother. Your, your your bloodline, your brothers, your sisters, you will not find one believer is good to them. Do you see it? I'm showing it to you on the screen, my friend. And you can change the translation as long as you speak English. So you read it in English too. While well, you are reading only in the Indonesian translation, maybe they are lying to you, obviously. So here it says, you cannot be good to them, those who they are opposing Allah. Christians, Jews, Hindus, Buddhas. So if you are an Indonesian, let us say your parents were Hindus, and you became a Muslim, according to Islam, you are not allowed to be good to them. And this is the verse in the front of you. And you know what? Why you don't go and read the interpretation for the verse? Is that fair? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Wanna... What, what interpretation you like to like us to read? Choose one. Uh, Ibn Kathir, just Ibn okay. Kathir. All right, guys, he chose Ibn Kathir, not my choice. This is a choice of our friend here, Mr. Rizqi. And we will go to Ibn Kathir as he ordered. And we are in your service, my friend. No problem. So in Ibn Kathir, we go to chapter uh, uh, 58, verse number 22. I don't, actually, I don't want to debate with you. I just want to learn from you because you said no you are an Arab. No, nope. not my I'm friend. I'm not debating you because you are no match to debate me. And I understand that. But this is not the topic now. I want to help you. I'm here to help you. I'm not debating you. All right. I'm going with you, easy and slow, uh, uh, so you might see and understand. All right. Okay. We will go to Ibn Kathir. Here we go. I will put Ibn Kathir for you on the screen. You can open the website of Ibn Kathir, you yourself, and see for your own reference. This is here Ibn Kathir saying, لا تجد قوما يؤمنون بالله واليوم الآخر, etc. And then he says. You will not find any people who believe in Allah and the last day making friendship with those who oppose Allah. 
and his messenger even though they were their father and their sons and or their brothers or their kindred meaning do not be a friend do not be a friend to who to your family to the deniers even if they are among the closest relative to you you cannot even take them as a friend this is make a theory and then here let not and he is quoting for you other verses let not the believers take the disbelievers as a friends instead of the believers so muslim cannot friend because those are enemies this is why muslims when they debate me i'm not talking about you i'm talking about real muslims when they debate me they call me names they lie to us because they are allowed to lie we are in war for them we are the enemies so and the prophet he allowed to allow you to lie in case of war this is war my friend war between those who oppose allah that's why muhammad the order even to kill those who oppose allah so you cannot take your family as a friends you cannot be good to them and look this is make a theory. you will not find any people who believe in allah on the last day doing what being good to others and he tell you that interpretation even if they were their relatives their fathers their brothers even if they are their sons even if they are their their brothers even if they are in a tribe so what we can do more so what do you think now i showed you a negative what you can say my friend hello yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so what do you think Ruski? are you going to leave us now my friend First, first, I want I want to be sure that you are a real Muslim because sometimes there's there's uh, some people they play games and you know. Can you say Shahada? All right. Okay, just to confirm because sometimes you know some kids uh, they play games and we want to be sure. So, so what do you think, Ruski? What do you think? Islam is a good religion for you as an Indonesian person. What else I showed you make Islam doesn't look doesn't look good. Is that the only thing, or you, uh, I, uh, you are watching my videos, all of them? I don't. Uh, I, I I watch uh, many videos, and can you show me the proof, the and uh, the evidence that uh, the Quran is in my hand now is different than the Quran before, or different than the Quran in Arab or something? Can you can I show you what, what do you mean? Show you that the Quran changed? You mean? Well, I do not need to show you that because the Quran without a changing is horrible. Why I want to show you that? However, even the Quran confirmed that the Quran changed. How we can prove that? If you go in the Quran, you see, the Quran saying to us in very clear words that Allah is a crazy person. How? Risky, risky. If I, if I go to school and I learn to speak... Uh, let us say Indonesian first year I learn Indonesian and I start writing letters and then after 10 years and then I write letters again or a book in Indonesian language which one you will see you will think it's better the book I wrote first year after first year of learning Indonesian or the book I wrote 10 years after writing uh, learning Indonesian and practicing 10 years of course okay so is it possible that Allah he will write Quran Better than the Quran? I, I don't know what your point. I my point your point. is, it's happened to me as a human, as an example. One day, my English was very horrible, and now, and now it's still horrible, actually. But it's improving. But there is no way God, He will say He will make Quran better than the Quran. In chapter two, verse one or six, it says. Whatever verses or revelation we do abrogate or cause to be forgotten, we bring a better one or similar. Okay. How Allah is the one who wrote the Quran. And then Allah will make Quran better than the Quran. Did he go to school? Maybe he practiced more Arabic. 
and now he will do better what do you think i think this verse is related to uh, uh forbidden of kamar forbidden of what before kamar is uh like strong dream before no, 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 my friend, my friend, forget about this is about uh, forget that this is no this is about Allah Muhammad he cannot recite the Quran twice correctly and he forget Quran so he want to find an excuse that Allah caused me to forget the Quran but don't worry Allah forget me the Quran Allah will bring me better Quran but look how stupid here why Allah will make Muhammad forget the Quran if he will give him similar Quran it's like I say to you recite this after me in the name of falafel and hummus and falafel and then I say to you forget it and then I give you a similar in the name of falafel hummus and falafel but this is the same one so why you cause me to forget it if you will give me similar what do you think does it make sense to you he will make you forget a sentence and he will make similar sentence that's stupid so why you made me forget it? And then when you say we will bring something better, that's mean obviously the word better mean better. So how better it is? How the Quran can be better than the Quran? But in the last verse it says Allah is able to do all things. My friend, Allah is able hold on. To do all don't 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 jump in your thought. Allah is able to do all things, no problem. But Allah is able to beat Allah. Because now we have Allah wrote the Quran and then Allah will write Quran better than the Quran. So what happened? Did Allah go to school? His, his, his Arabic improved? Did he learn more? Did his mommy and daddy taught him more experience? Did he grow up in age? So now he is wiser. How Allah, he is going to write Quran better than the Quran. I'm listening to you. Tell me how, Rizqi. Hmm. I will write Quran better than the Quran. That is that is the most stupid statement ever I can I can listen to, because you are God, and God always His writing should be perfect. Is Allah saying that there was a Quran which is not good, and Allah decided to get rid of it and give us better? Yes, that's what He's saying. Because better means there is worse. Correct. When I say this is better than this, that means this other one is worse than this one. So the second we say better, that's mean Allah He made a He, he made a poo poo, and now okay, forget that my poo poo. I will give you a better poo poo. How Allah He speak in such a way? The answer is very simple. Muhammad is a liar. He forget the Quran. He cannot remember the Quran. So uh, he wanna give an excuse. Actually, uh, uh, if you go to the interpretation, let me show you. The Arab they were laughing at Muhammad. For this guy, he say he ordered his his uh, followers to do something in the morning, and after and and this and the second day he changed his mind because people they were laughing. He's like a like a, a a person in the laboratory trying to establish religion, so he's not sure what to say. So he make a law, and then the law is funny. People they start laughing at it. So right away, Muhammad he switch to let us change it. I will give you something better, you know. Let us see. You see, I don't want to show you my own interpretation like the Muslims they do. Let us see the Muslim interpretation for their own book. All right. This is the Sirah Jalalain. I will put it for you in the screen. I'm not sure if you can see the screen. Can you see it? Wait a minute. It's not a... It might take time for you to come. Tafsir al-Jalalain in front of me. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of, of, of Jordan. And it says here, when the disbelievers began to dride, uh, uh, they, you know, they were like, they laugh at Muhammad, the matter of abrogation saying <laughs> that one day Muhammad, he enjoined his companion a thing, and the second day he forbid it. I mean, this guy, he don't even wait for a week. What kind of God he sent an order in the morning he forbid it afternoon? Okay, 
What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, this is this is this is, this is obviously this guy is a fraud. If God he made an order, God he gave Moses ten commandment. Did God say to Moses second day, oh forget about the ten commandment, Moses they are wrong. I will give you better ten commandment. This is stupid. So if God, when Muhammad he enjoy his, it would enjoy here. It means he gave an order for to practice what Allah he told him. So he told him do this. And then second day, because people they start laughing at his stupidity, so he changed it. He said, "Forbid it. Forget about it. We will give you something better." <laughs> hmm. This guy once he already left Islam. Did you call uh, Rosri? Did you call me before? Uh, did you did you call me before? Yeah, I called you before. Uh, maybe last month. Okay, but did you leave Islam when you called me last time? Because somebody is reminding me of your voice. Did you leave Islam before? No, 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 no. Okay. I'm still Islam until now. Okay. I see. Well, I don't know. I don't know who's calling me. I, I have no idea who's calling. People, they call and, uh, you know, I go with what they say. Yeah. Can you show me again uh, about uh, Abraham sacrifice Isaac? Because I search in Google that the location the location is in Mina and Isaac never go to Mina. So you search about what? What I cannot hear you. What? You said about Abraham. Why you are changing topic? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Uh, why we why we are changing yeah, topic now? Why we are going to talk? With you in, in, in this okay. Yeah. So what about Abraham? Uh, Abraham, you said that Abraham sacrificed Isaac. As I believe that Abraham sacrificed uh, Ismail because the location is in Mina, in Mina, and Isaac never goes to Mina. My my friend, my friend. Even the Muslims are not sure. If you if you go and read the interpretation. You will see many Islamic interpretation. They say that uh, the sacrificed person was Isaac. However, you see, uh, if Allah He order Abraham to sacrifice his son, and regardless if it's Isaac or Ishmael, if we go in the Quran, we will find the story does not make any sense. Why? Because simply it's a story in a story from a book. And why the Jews they will change the name of the one who was uh, who, who was sacrificed? And why the Quran did not say it was Ishmael? Did the Quran say it is Ishmael? It is Ishmael. It says Ishmael in Indonesian language. Uh, no, 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 no. You see, I don't care about what they say in the translation. Does the Quran mention? It clearly says Ishmael in Indonesian language. Okay, what what uh, what what verse we are talking about? It says that to you in in the Indonesian language. In chapter in <coughs> in chapter Asafa thirty seven verse hundred two. Hmm. Chapter as Safa? Yeah. You mean as Safat? 3702. 3702. 37. Okay. 102. And I will put for you the, uh, the translation uh, which you are saying 102. Okay. Where is the word? Where is the word Ishmael? Screen. Yeah, but where is the word Ishmael? Where here it says Ishmael that Ishmael he beside he took his son. Where is where is the word Ishmael? Even this is the English translation. This is the verse you gave me. 
and it doesn't say that. I will go now to the Indonesian translation, let us see. But in Arabic, nowhere the word it says is Ishmael. All right. Let us go and see in the Indonesian language. Obviously, the Indonesian language is full of lies. Yeah, I will put it in a second. Hold on. Uh, okay, here we go. Let us see if Ishmael appear. All right, Ibrahim. I don't see the word Ishmael in, in, in the Indonesian one. Do you see it? In my in my phone, uh, the is my words uh, after the word uh, look in in your. Well, I don't know. I'm trying to find here the word Ishmael. I cannot see it. No. However, my friend, let us say it is Ishmael for the sake of argument. But here, did you notice there is something uh, uh, weird about this verse? It says here that Allah himself, he gave a sacrifice. Does it say that in the Indonesian language in verse 107? 107. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Why Allah giving sacrifice? And why the sacrifice is really... Mm. So what is your evidence that what is your proof that uh, Isaac uh, Isaac is the one who got sacrificed? Yeah, you know, uh, risky. I don't know. Some people they are saying that you call me before and maybe I don't know. There is some people they 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 are thinking that you are a person who called before and you left Islam. And I see somebody saying no, that this person. You never, okay, you called me before, you said a month ago. Did you leave Islam when you called me? No, I never leave Islam. You never leave Islam? Yeah. Hmm. All right. Okay. I'm just trying to be sure, you know, we don't like liars. I hope you are not one of them. Are you a liar? No, 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 no. No, no? I don't know. I... I have a feeling that you called me before and I don't know, your voice is not strange for me. And you said yes. So if we go back in the videos, we will hear your voice again and you decide to leave Islam or... Are you honest? Yeah, I'm honest. Okay. Are you willing to show yourself in the camera to me? No, I will not post Your, uh, it. Channel, yeah? No, I will not post it. Just I want to be sure that next time you call me is not going to be, uh, you know, we, we don't like liars. That's all. I'm not going to post it. Just I want to be see. I want to I want okay, be sure okay. that uh, you know it's a real person. And uh, okay, I see you now. All right. Okay. All right. You can turn off your camera. Anyway. Uh, you know, we are just trying uh, uh, our best, and we will see. So, Rizki, don't waste my time, my friend. As long as you watch my videos, uh, what do you think? Islam is a good religion for you or not? I don't know also your uh, book. I don't know also your book and something, but, you know, what you put, and I do research, and then, you know, yeah. what everything is convincing, but... Yeah, I think I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going. I'm not convinced with you, Ruski, because I remember I heard your voice before, and I think I don't know. Maybe you are seeking attention. I don't know what what's your problem, but I believe you called me before, and after we spoke, you left Islam. So why are you are calling me again? Are you a person who is seeking attention? No, 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 no. Hmm. So if we compare between your voice previously and your voice now, and we find it's the same person. No, 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 just, just, uh, just yeah, I, no, no, I'm not convinced with you, my friend. Sorry. I know. I don't, don't waste my time. I, you know, I speak with people who have uh, honesty and I'm going to block you actually. 
maybe it's room i don't i don't know but I, I, most likely i i don't uh, there is something fishy i don't like it anyway uh i hang up on him i blocked him too you want to leave islam leave islam if you if you're already honest and decent leave islam you, you know i gave you all the proofs you need i don't care if you say it live on air or not but I don't like people who play games. He said Shahada already, yeah, but I don't know. It sound uh, because I remember I heard your voice before, and um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that was another go uh, person. You are sure? Okay, who have the video of this guy before? Who have his video before? Anybody can have it, so we can uh, we can compare between his video. Maybe later you can compare. If he is not, I will unblock him, and then I will apologize from blocking him if I am wrong. We have a person. His name is Yasser. Okay, Mr. Yasser. <clears throat> we are calling a Muslim who texts me and he's trying to call but he's not answering. He called me and he asked about the black dog, but did he leave Islam? Yeah, okay, so he's lying then. All right, forget about him. Yes, sir, are you going to answer? Okay, you will not answer. Why those people, they don't answer? <clears throat> Agha Abbas. Agha Abbas, he tried to call and we lost him. We missed his call. <coughs> oh, Abbas, he hung up on me. Why is that, Abbas? Hello? Hello? Yes, Abbas, how are you? Go ahead, Abbas. Eh, Abbas using the internet of the neighbors. Pure heart? Well, I did not get any message from someone whose name is a pure heart. <coughs> Abbas, he have a bad internet. Let us hang up on him. The Muslim who called himself a pure heart text me and tell me I am pure heart. Maybe he's using different name. What's your name, my friend, in the Skype? Pure heart. Your name there is a pure heart? Rahmawati, Rahmawati. Okay, call me, my friend, call me. Here we go. You see, we have, uh, you know, I mean, uh, don't waste my time. Any Muslim want to call? Anyone?
Mayday, Mayday. Any Muslim? What happened to Abbas? It says he is online, but he is not answering. <coughs> <coughs> My friend, there is a debater. You want to debate me? Let him text me what I would do. Hello? Hello? Yeah, that's how I am. I lost you. Hello? Hello? Yes, Abbas, go ahead. Abbas? Ah. Abbas is driving the bus. Where is the Muslim who wanna call me? Rahmawati, my friend, call me. I don't look for people in Skype, you have to text me. Text me and I will call you. Anyone? Pure heart, I blocked him. That's me, he's a kid. Like Abbas. Usually, I block only kids. Anyone? Abbas is trying to call me, but look like he have a bad internet. Let us see if he will answer. Hello? Yes, Abbas. Your name has changed somehow. It says John John for some reason. It says, anyway, it says what? It says what? Your name is not coming as Christian Prince on Skype. It's coming John John. Oh, okay. Reason. Anyway, I, I don't know why. That's right. No problem. Yes. Um, yeah, I ask you. You said Jesus is in paradise. Yes. So you're you, going to show me the evidence. You asked you you ask me what? You asked me what? Hadith that Jesus is in paradise. Jesus is not in paradise. Sorry. Jesus is with Allah in heaven. We don't know. Uh, and uh, all heaven is not paradise. I mean, paradise is not all heaven. So heaven what, is a big place. So what is, what is, what, what is paradise? Par what, what, is what is all the heaven. Uh, okay, what is paradise? Uh, <clears throat> Hello? Uh, Hello? What is paradise? Hello, yeah. I think it was a bad reception. So... Uh, Paradise is Jannah, isn't it? Jannah al Firdos. Okay, when, uh, so where is Jesus now? Paradise is Jannah al Firdos. Okay, but where is Jesus, Jesus now? Jesus is with Allah. Okay. Not him up himself. So, oh, so Allah, Jesus is higher we than Jannah. Where, okay. We don't know where he is, but so, he doesn't say precisely. So you are, okay, so you are say saying that. Jesus right now is in the same room with Allah. Says that same room. Well, you, you refuse to accept Allah, him to Allah, be in. Allah, hold on, Allah, hold on. You, you are the one who refused to accept him is in Jannah. You want him to be with Allah. Okay, what is Allah? That's meaning Jesus is higher than Jannah. Okay, wonderful. So Jesus now is with Allah, doing what with Allah and why he is there, why he is not in Jannah. Okay, okay, I'll answer you. The first thing is first. So you have no proof that Jesus is in paradise. Yes, that was my challenge. So you accept it that you have no proof. Now I can answer you. No, I did not accept that you because you are that because you are a stupid. No you, okay, so okay, hold on. Okay, so hold on, 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 potato, potato, hold on. Don't make me smack you. So uh, you are saying I want you to say in front of everybody that the one who believe that Jesus is in Jannah, he is a stupid and he is a donkey. Say that. I am 
you show me the advice. No, 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 no. You are making challenge. You were sure a second ago. I want you to say, Christian Prince, whoever believe in this. No, 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 no. Aren't you sure? Aren't you sure you are screaming? You say it's Christian Prince. You do not know. You have no idea. Okay. Are you sure or you are a certified donkey? Hello? Are you sure from what you just said to me or you are a certified donkey who opened his mouth without knowledge? You claim that I don't have knowledge and you do. I don't want to play like that. No, no, we want to play. No, I like to play it like that. No, I like to play it like that. Either you say the one who believed that Jesus in Jannah is a donkey and the one who, is, you know, this is you. He is not in Jannah. He is the smart. Do you agree with that? Say yes. I am not saying anything. I'm saying why you are not willing to say why? Okay, as long you are sure, and a second ago you are going to teach me, and you get me busted. Why you are not willing to say that the one who believed that Jesus why? is in Jannah is a donkey? I want you to say that. Listen, listen to me, Kip. I know, I know why I'm not saying that. Reason is because I what? say Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam mm -hmm. will be the first one to enter paradise. And that's the Sahih Hadith. My friend, don't, yes. don't change the topic no, first. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. You call me to prove me wrong. Correct? Okay. Okay. So yes. you, you call me to prove me wrong. You said, yes, that's wonderful. What is wrong? I said that Jesus is in Jannah. You said, no, he is not in Jannah. He is in he is, he, Jannah, uh, uh, you know, is different I, from with Allah. He said, I said to you, I said to you where you get that from? Okay. Show me where you get that from. All right. So, are, but but then you said to me, but 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 then, but then but then you said to me, but then hold on, but but, but then you said to me, admit that you are wrong. You said to me that, right? Admit that you are wrong. Correct? Did you say that? I no, no. I say if you, I will answer you. First, you admit that you are wrong. Okay. And you say I'm not wrong. Yeah, so, so, okay, so you sure are saying, me. okay, so you are saying that Christian Prince, paper. okay, so you are saying Christian Prince is wrong. Are you willing to be, to say loud and clear in front of everybody that the one who believe that Jesus is in Jannah is a donkey? Say it. Your nickname is broken record or something? My friend, yourself. are you stupid or what? Yeah, no. You just said yeah, I'm wrong. I, you just said you have to admit Christian I'm Prince that you are I'm wrong. Not. So why you are not willing the one who believe that Jesus in Jannah is a donkey? Say it. Oh, come on, CB. Don't play this. Do you know game. why you will not say that? You're because not it's because that. it's your prophet who said that. that. Because you know that Christian Prince, when he challenged, he challenged. It's your prophet who said that Isa is in Jannah, you idiot. I've been waiting for what? Ten minutes? I've been waiting for all I hear is excuses. All I hear is excuses. Say this, then I will say this. Okay. Just show me so, where you get that from. Jesus in paradise, man. Oh, oh, all right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let us see. Bust me. Let us see. I will, uh, for sure, I will bust you. Here we go. <laughs> Let us show yes, you. Yes, yes. <laughs> Why is showing Indonesian translation? Just shut up. Is. Shut up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. What is it? Shut up. Potato, let everybody die laughing at you, you donkey. When I call you donkey, don't get upset because even you don't deserve to be a donkey. This is your prophet speaking about Allah sending a flying view like you, and he took him to the seven heaven. And then in the, in the trip, your prophet described where Jesus located in. Did he? So he said, Here we, let us see. And then when we uh, went forth till we reached the lowest heaven, uh, shut up. Jabril asked the gate to be open. It was said, no, who, uh, who is he? He replied, this is Jabril. It's again said, who is with ye? He said, Muhammad. It was said, has been he been sent to, for? He said, yes. So the prophet said the gate was open and it was said, welcome into, uh, uh, into him, his, his, uh, his pleased arrival. And then we came and we saw Adam and then he continued. And then he narrate, narrated the, the whole account of the hadith and then all set up. And the prophet observed, and he met Jesus in the second heaven. Talk, donkey. Can I? Talk, donkey. Talk and apologize for being a donkey who challenged a Christian prince. You never learned until now. After all the spanking, after all the spanking I gave you year after year, and you still you have, still you are stupid to say I challenge you. Okay, does it say that Jesus, he lived in the second heaven? Can I speak? 
Sure, I'm asking you to talk. Here we go. Your, your prophet, he said that Jesus, he lived in the second heaven. I'm still waiting. Hello. Shush. Go. Let me speak now. Shush. Go, Abdul. Go. Where does it say Jesus is in paradise? It says the second heaven. Hmm. Who I, told you the second heaven? I am the one. I am the one paradise. who said no, in heaven. He he I am the one. I am the one. I'm going to go to your level and tell you. You're stupid. You're stupid. You're, you're, you're stupid. You're stupid. Shut up, son of Muta'ah. Stupid coward liar. It is you who said to me and it's recorded that Jesus is not in Jannah. I am one who said to you. I said, is Jesus in Jannah? You said, no, he is with Allah. Shut up. Get out. Get, get out of here. Get me an adult to talk to. Everybody can play the video again. I repeated the question 100 times. I said, are you willing to say that the one who believed that Jesus in Jannah is a donkey? Everybody can go back. You said, no, he's not there. He's with Allah. You have no dignity. I don't know how long your wife will stay with you after you said that she can't do breastfeeding for adult. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> don't text me to say to me, give me a verse about Quran to kill a Christian. Don't text me in Skype. I will block you. Skype is just to debate people, not to... So you will call me and, you know, you give me your... Uh, Crazy stuff. <clears throat> it's recorded. Everybody heard you. Where Jesus is. In. So, uh, and this is why I said to you, are you willing to say that the one who said that he is a donkey? And because you know that the Christian prince, when he says such a thing, obviously there is a there's a trap. And that's why you, you, know, you refuse to say it. Coward. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop here. And uh, my name is in Skype. Is it still a Christian prince? I don't know what this guy is talking about. I see it there, a Christian prince. So I have no idea what he's saying. Uh, <clears throat> you're messed, your, your Skype is messed up, maybe. <clears throat> so as you see... Those Muslims, they have no idea what they are talking about, and they, they are just a blah, 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 blah. Low IQ. I never met one he knew what he's talking about. All of them are the same. And they learn, they learn, when you talk to Christian prince, never say yes, never say no, because whatever you say, he will spank you. Actually, they, they wrote an article that says, how to debate a Christian prince. The article was saying, never say yes, never say no. Even if he said to you the prophet was a good man, don't say yes. Because he will hit you with something. Never say yes, never say no. And that's why he was saying what he was saying. And by the way, how Muhammad is the first one to be resurrected and he went to heaven and he found all those names there. Adam is there already. Moses is there already. Isa is there already. How Muhammad is the first one to enter paradise as Abbas, he said. Obviously, Muhammad is a stupid man. Because if he is the first one to be resurrected, but those are already resurrected. And they are there. <laughs> I mean, can you believe how stupid this cult is? He told them I will be the first one to be resurrected. <clears throat> and we are laughing. Don't call me again, Abbas. You are just a kid. You are just literally a kid. Shame on you. You have no dignity. Right? Yeah, anyway, I, I think we have enough for today. Uh, we have other brother. He will go live on air. The admin is posting uh, uh, a link for his uh, YouTube. If you like to go and join him, it's up to you. Is a coward, Muhammad Qadir. I am a coward. No, the coward is the one who go and hide between the legs of his wife during the war time, Muhammad. The coward who never go in the front line in war, Muhammad. The coward when a man he came to him and he said to him, "I want to have your wife Aisha. I want to have Aisha." Huh? The prophet he said to him, "But this is the mother of the believers." The guy said, "Okay, eh, all right." He left. When he left Aisha, she said to him, Who is such a person who says such a thing to you? Muhammad said to her, Look at the coward. 
he is a fool we have to obey which means if he insists to take you he will have you ahmaqum muta' coward muhammad the coward muhammad is the one who let dogs get inside the mosque and he don't dare to say stop them so he will not offend their owners so they will beat him up the coward muhammad is the one who let a bedouin piss in the middle of the mosque because if he forbid him from doing it people will stay away from him Arab they piss everywhere that is the coward Muhammad my Lord the Messiah for people just buying and selling in the outside square of the temple he kicked them out while your prophet Muhammad dogs get in people get in and they piss inside the mosque and he don't do anything about it that is an act of a coward but later when he got an army he can kill suddenly he became a brave kill this guy kill this guy kill this guy before he's a potato the guy want to take his wife he's a potato the people piss in the mosque he's a potato dogs inside the mosque he's a potato what happened uh, at that time Muhammad was weak later Muhammad became a hero who never go to war he watched from far anyway thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you if you like to learn more about the cult of Muhammad and his garbage feel free to read my books and share the video with your friends you can cut it pieces do as you wish with it and have fun let everybody see the truth and the truth will set you free and again we warn anyone who lie when he call us those who play games they lie actually they are serving Muslims because then Muslims will say oh Christian Prince he got somebody he claimed that convert but he convert already to Islam those are Muslims I believe and they are trying to play games so they can support the Muslim cause shame on you so the Muslim will say oh they are not really leaving Islam in the Christian Prince page we got you busted if you are a liar all right Anyway, God is watching and God will punish liars, doesn't matter who they are. Thank you, everybody. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord. Islam made by a dummy for the dummy. Are you a dummy? If a man like Muhammad, if, if a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? See you soon. Have a blessed day.